Hi, welcome to the third uh, Master Plumber CEO update. Look, we've been back about a week since our wonderful conference in the Gold Coast, Century Cove. And I just want to have a quick talk about that conference. We're just absolutely wrapped with the attendance from our members, firstly, the business partners interaction, and the overall conference. As you can imagine, it takes a massive amount of organisation for a conference. And I'm really proud of what our team have achieved over in Australia. It's really important that we get our engagement up so we're talking about the issues of the day, we're interacting with our business partners and members are talking to each other about what they can add to their business. We had some fantastic conference speakers that really added value for the conference. But also, I think especially for the award nominees and the award winners, it's really special for, to me to see the quality of organisations that are really coming forward, whether it's product of the year, whether it's Master Plumber of the Year or our Apprentice Awards. It really makes me proud of this industry and what we've achieved. You may have seen some videos that we've posted on social media platforms. There's some amazing shots and I really encourage you to have a look at some of those photos of the conference. It shows what the conference is about and how the engagement we get across that conference. Now, we've already started planning for uh, Conference 2020 and we're looking at some South Island venues that we think will be really exciting. I think it's hard to replace the weather and the location of Century Cove that really hit a lot of criteria for us. But we're sure we can deliver another fantastic conference for 2020. So if you haven't thought about coming to a Master Plumbers conference, in the future we'll give you some more information. But we want to keep making this bigger and better all the time. So now we're back, we're really back into the hard nuts and bolts of this industry. We're about to submit our building legislation reforms feedback to MB. This is a wide ranging document that talks about licensing for plumbing, drain laying and gas fitting. And it also talks about the Building Act and some changes that we're requiring for that. There's a whole section there on products and how that they will comply or not comply in the future. We've spent a lot of time pre-conference and after conference putting that submission. I will put that up on the Master Plumbers website in the next week. I do really encourage you to have a look at that. It takes a lot of work for us to make sure we've got the feedback from members and business partners to ensure we're representing the industry correctly. So the next part we're working on is for advocacy for members is obviously the Act Review. And unfortunately with the business systems reform, it seems to have stalled a bit. We've been engaging with the Minister and MB officials to make sure we get some emphasis back on the PGD Act Review Again, six years overdue, we're really encouraging them to push this forward. We do need these changes to improve the output for industry. Thank you for all the members who gave us feedback. Uh, we will be continuing our meetings to ensure that the timeline that gives an indication of where this will be completed will come through by the end of 2019. The final part of advocacy that we're really focusing on the moment is the ROVE review or the VET review and that's the review into vocational education and training. So it's how the ITOs and the Polytechs interact and what the future is going to hold for both organisations. We're not sure what the outcome of that will be but we've made a strong submission and we've been engaging with education officials, MB and TEC to ensure that our voice is heard. Once we know the outcome, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of advocacy that's required about positioning, plumbing, drain laying and gas fitting. We will keep you informed along that way to make sure that we've got a quality training system that can take us into the future. The final part of advocacy that we're currently working on is the Legionella. Now at the conference we had a world expert, Calvin Slade, talk about Legionella and the risks for that for the health of Australian and New Zealand consumers. Since we've come back from conference, uh, Targa University expert has released a report on Legionella and the misdiagnosis between pneumonia and Legionella. Look, we've been talking and working with some experts in New Zealand for some time in trying to convince MB that mandatory testing for high-risk facilities like elderly care and childcare facilities is really important for New Zealanders' health. So look, we're going to keep those conversations up. We've released a press release and we'll be talking to the Department of Health and MB to try and move towards mandatory testing for high-risk facilities. Finally, it's a really busy time of year at Master Plumbers. We've got great membership growth occurring and we've got inquiries from apprentices and MasterLink hosts. So we're really happy with what, where our platform is at the moment. I suppose what I'm most proud of though is the conversations across members and business partners at the conference. The passion we have for this industry to improve it and take it to the next level is something that I'm really proud of to represent. 
So just remember, if you want to contact either myself or any of my team, please don't hesitate. We're here to help you as much as we can. Thank you.